Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Age of Wonders 3. This is the Commonwealth Campaign, and we are on episode 27. We are having nothing but severe, massive issues at this point. There are things all over the place that want to kill us. There's wolves wandering around that are going to be a nuisance and probably going to wreck us just a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to get my little piglet down there. We have a little bit of a defense here, we have a little bit of a defense there, and we are about to attack. I believe in the next turn, that is going to be the goal, that is going to be the plan, that is going to be the dream. Whether it happens or not remains to be seen. I'm going to try to get in here to defend. And I'm not even sure where that is at this point. Um, guess we'll do manual combat and see what we can actually make happen here. So, there is the possibility that maybe, just maybe, we can pull this out, but I'm, I'm doubting it pretty heavily. Alright. So, once again, I have control here. It is a mounted archer, even if it is a dwarven. Let's cast some spells and see if we can stone one of these dudes. Um, prospector... This one's actually pretty weak. Let's do this one. They shouldn't be able to hit us in the first turn. They might cast a spell, but we'll see. Alright. You'll move. What do you have? Alright, he's gonna move up. He's gonna move up. They're gonna move over and be able to wreck them from here. Alright, let's see. What do we have? Not that great of a shot, actually. Uh, 4 to 6... If we do six times three, we'd actually get it. Um, let's do let's do that one. Let's get the guy in the back. A guaranteed kill. What else do we have? We have suffocate. Um, Eleven to seventeen. The boar rider. Oh, he's got. Eh, maybe we can do that. I don't know. There's gonna be a lot coming. It's not going to be super easy. Oh, he's gonna get some shot bolts at us. Not that big of an issue. The rock throw, and then the boars are gonna go charging in. Huh? A little bit more damage out. I can live with that. I can totally live with that. If he bashes through that in his next turn, which he probably will, let's just kinda call it like we see it here. He won't be able to get through, and I should be able to drop his hero. Did, but the problem is they're gonna come through and murder us this time. There's no way we survive this. So it was a good attempt at holding, but unfortunately we did not actually succeed and well the throw's not gonna do much, but we die fighting! Rawr! We gave it our best. We lost another city. We are starting to get assaulted on all sides. Perhaps we expanded quicker than we should have? I don't know. It seems that way. That does indeed seem to be the case. I'm going to try to move over here. And... We have no hero, so we can't take it yet. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, and then they're going to be able to... Hmm. This is not good. This is not good. Alright, we're going to have the human civic guard and barracks, I guess. Yeah, things are looking pretty pretty poopy, so to speak. I mean, there's not really much else to say about that. Let's just force them back. We're holding, but for how long? Uh, sorry, folks, this is looking pretty, pretty bad at this point. But we'll give it our best shot and see what we can come up with. Very likely victory. I'm going to auto combat this. See where it takes us. All right, Valerie. The gem is not here either. It looks like we, or it looks like it now truly has been stolen from the dwarves. Larissa is also missing. We have not found her body, so it seems that she got away. Maybe she took the gem. I don't understand why she didn't immediately come to me. All right, so we lost our. Ooh, we lost two of our good guys. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Alright, we definitely need some recovery time after that, but I feel as though maybe we finally stopped one of the uh, aggressive sides. It looks like they can't get to us 
easily from this angle. The city awaits our, our its fate. We're going to absorb it into the population. Yes, yes, we are. We're going to hope for the best. And then, hopefully, in five turns, we'll be set. I don't know, though. I am hesitant. All well, that gives us a, a one little tiny respite, so to speak. We may end up having to fall back and deal with our enemies on this side first. Well, hindsight being what it is, I should have just come here immediately and killed this thing. And, well, things would be sitting much, much better at this point. Hmm. Well, I did manage to be victorious in that, so let's move on. And we'll hope for the best as we continue. Uh, what else? They are still there. These folks are here. High Elf Phalanx. Let's move our other two guys over to this. Ugh. I feel like we are in some significant trouble at this point. I don't foresee us surviving this very, very easily. None of us are strong enough to do anything. We're probably going to end up losing that one. We're probably going to end up losing this one as well. And we already lost that. And I'm pretty sure... Well... Maybe we can take it. But we'd have to give up this town. How strong is this town right now? It's not super powerful, but maybe it's strong enough. So, let's move down and prepare ourselves for combat in the next bit, I guess. Alright. And they have that... We might actually be able to move out and also attack. I don't know. We are definitely behind uh, behind the wire on this. I'm hoping I don't I don't get outplayed. This is how I lose, by the way, folks. This is exactly how I lose in um, Heroes of Might and Magic. When I play and they start sending like little baby armies, I realize that most of these aren't baby armies. But when they start sending baby armies all over the place to take stuff that I had already taken. It really, really screws me over. I can't handle it. Because I never have baby armies. I always had the death ball army. I like to have one or two groups holding on the front lines and just keep pushing them back. But if they manage to sneak past me, that really, really hinders me a lot. So, this sucks. Um, gonna do a couple more of these. Actually, let's get, rid of, let's get rid of what I just did there. I want to do... I want to do another Griffin Rider. Monster Hunter and a Berserker. Alright. So our next stop, hopefully we will be able to take. We'll see. Um, Army requires orders. Your orders are to... Pretty much do a lot of nothing, I think. I'm going to send them away as well. And maybe I can hold this all together. I doubt it, though. I really, really doubt it. Alright, so we are close now. Should be able to move there. Should be able to move here. And we want to raise a militia. Should be able to retake the town here. I'm just gonna do auto combat. Oh, we still lost people. Really? That is not great. Alright, well, it has not been converted or stolen from us, so we should be able to maybe still pull these guys in. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is things are not looking great. Alright. Skill to research. We got war breed researched. Nice. Um, huh. Need something really, really good. What does this do? Forces neighboring lands to submit to the Empire's rule through demonstration. Okay. There's a Manticore Rider. Ooh, that's really good too. Greater disjunction. Generate walls. Warfare. I think I'm going to have to do warfare. I need to get some more more spells pumping out. Alright, I need to get a dwarf. 
Axeman, let's see, he's, he's got 46 health, and the Deep Guard, oh, they're Pikemen, okay. We have another Dwarven Boar Rider and Dwarven Crossbowman, and then we're going to get that, and then maybe the Pool of the Firstborn, I'm not 100% sold on that just yet. Oh gosh, there's bad things coming. And I believe our heroes were coming to reunite with our other folks. We're going to hope that we can hold this without any kind of problems. So we got to get our strongest people back to the front lines to do some stuff. If we can take out another one of the cities, maybe, maybe take out this one. And then head this way, take out that one. Once that's done, we should be pretty, pretty good. We'll still have a decent chunk of land that we're going to have to hold, but we should be pretty well to do at that point. What is this? This is... okay. That's the one leaving to come down here. And... okay. Take that, which was undefended, and... Go down here, and we can't make it, so... So be it. Attack that. Are they inside the city? Is the question. Um, I'm gonna do manual combat. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try a more complicated. Oh, they are inside the city. Well, that kind of sucks. Try a slightly more complicated uh, path to victory here. I don't think they have a lot of ranged units, so that might behoove us a little. Oh, what did they do? Did they just dump oil on us? What? Cursing us. That's probably not great. Alright, what do you have? Seduce. Ooh. Real curse. Okay. Where is our trebuchet? It's over here. We move up to the front lines. We go blockade with our boys here. We have a lot of ranged units. If we can keep them from murdering our souls, I think that will help us tremendously. We'll have to see if that is indeed something we can actually handle or not. Alright, what do we have? Are we... I'm assuming we're cursed or something? Skin of oil. So we are now weakened to fire, which is never a good thing. We can't stone because I guess we've used mana? I don't... I don't know. Alright, let's, uh... Just end our turn and see what's next. No skin of oil. They seem to want to do something for us. Throwing more curses, which is basically just lowering our movement. Alright, we're gonna move up. And it looks like I still can't hit anyone. Or I can't hit a wall. I actually almost broke the wall down with that, which is pretty nice. Can't really complain too, too much about it. The Orc Great Sword. I'm going to stick them over here. Move the Long Bowmen over. They're getting pretty close to being able to do something. Storm Sisters are going to come over as well. These guys are unfortunately unable to do much. Alright, so we have to hope for the best once again, folks. Let's see what we can do. The wall is looking pretty mangled. Oh, there's fire. Fire definitely hurt. Kind of wish we had a restorative spell at some point, but we do not. Could take the wall. Or I could just shoot at the guys up on top of the wall, and I think I might do that. I think I'm going to opt for that choice. Hope for the best. Okay, high off initiates only have the one shot, I believe, and indeed that does seem to be accurate. And one more up. And we can fire baby attack, yay! Storm Sisters can also launch an attack. We come over here, and over here. I apologize, guys, I know this is going to be a nasty, nasty mission, or level, or whatever. We're going to try and hold the line. 
That would actually be really smart of them oh. to actually launch attacks on us. Throwing curse after curse on us, so they are keeping our mobility down, but... Oh, there they go. They have come out of the... Yay, we've resisted the seduction. Oh, but they attacked our archers. Didn't really think that one through, I suppose. Alright, so they are finally doing the smarter thing. Alright, so that's a pretty good shot. That's gonna be the one that we're gonna take. That did not do anywhere near as much damage as it was supposed to. Hmm. Alright, we almost completely wrecked them. And there. They're dead. What do we have here? We'll take some damage. We can take quite a bit more damage, in fact. And then our archers are going to be able to do a little bit of work as well. So that actually turned out okay. And we will even charge forward and keep them in place. So now nothing else can get to us. We will still get attacked over on that quadrant, which I guess is okay. It's not great, but it's something, right? Okay, and I want to say that Shout of Intimidation. Oh, it worked! Panicked them. Nice. All right, sweet. So they're going to run back into their little base. Okay. Fireball. Very unpleasant. Did it actually totally kill them? It did. They just got annihilated, and it's like we won that fight. Okay. It's not looking great, I'm not going to lie. But it's not looking anywhere near as bad as I originally thought it was going to, so... It's a pretty big hit. Another couple of good shots there, and then we're going to charge him down and murder him. No, not quite, huh? The hound is out of range. How much health does this one have? Five. Mm. Couldn't quite... What? what am I looking at here? The orc great sword, I can... Hmm. I think it would be more... More bad. <laughs> if you want to go that route. It would be worse for us if we did it the other way. Alright, so we're going to do that. They're still freaked out. They don't know what's going on. We're going to lose another unit here. Oh, I wasn't expecting more fire. Uh, high Elf Union Guard, we will kill it. Which is fine. We'll hold the gate. Or in the wall, I should say. I think he's gonna die either way. I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, he was gonna die in the next turn. I wouldn't actually get anything out of him, so... I suppose it's gonna be better to hit him whatever we can now, as opposed to waiting until later. Alright. Let's see if we have enough oomph to get through this. That is definitely heavy on the spell damage. Initiate some damage there. A little bit more there. Had a double shot and almost a kill. We might do it, folks. We might survive and take back our town. It's really close. thing we could have done, but we'll see. Okay. A little bit more on the Hellhounds. I think we still have this. The Hellhounds are going to go dead. Oh, they ran past. That was an interesting choice. I gotta say, probably a pretty stupid one, but there we go, folks. 
We have done it. We have taken the city back from the hands of the evildoers. Barely. And we defeated a hero at the same time. Alright, so that is sweet, sweet, nice. The city was undefended only because we murdered it, I suppose. Uh, looks like he didn't actually have anything, and the city didn't even swap over, ironically enough. Alright, we're going to go with um, the War Hall, I think, and then the Warlord's Command. We're going to make up from some of the lost stuff that we had. What are we building next? What are we building? Uh, that's too long. We need to go with a Dwarven Prospector, or maybe a Dwarven Crossbowman. And then we need to get over there and actually help out some more folks. Um, this is okay-ish. I don't know that we can necessarily defeat that group. And we're pretty close. Alright guys, I believe at this point in time I would like to break off the episode. You guys got to see some struggling, some very near death experiences, but we're kind of holding. We've reclaimed everything that we've lost, and we are still holding, but we're about to lose this. Though that has a... Hmm. It does seem a bit odd that it has its thing there too. Alright guys, well in the next episode we'll see if we can hold this place. If not, so be it. But if we do, I mean, that's going to be great. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys next week with more Age of Wonders 3. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.